Hi, it's me again. And uh, yeah, the BBC skint. They're always going on about how skint they are, aren't they? But a lot of people forget that BBC Studios isn't part of normal BBC. It's commercial and makes a lot of money. They're always buying up stuff, always buying up independent production studios, but letting them keep their names so you don't know it's covered under the BBC. They own 100% of UK TV, which is Gold, Dave, and all of that, which show adverts on the shows that you long since paid for with your television license fees. And now this, look at this. BBC Studios buys ITV Brickbox's international share. That sounds like it would be a cheap thing, cheap thing to buy, doesn't it? Let's continue. BBC Studios is taking full ownership of Brickbox International, acquiring ITV's 50% share for a cash consideration of £255 million. £255 million paid by a commercial company trading under the name BBC. Now, I'm no financial expert, I'm no accountant. Never will be, not full-time anyway. But... 3.7 billion quid a year is paid to the BBC by TV licence fees. And they reckon they have a black hole in their finances every year of around 300 billion quid. So that could have been plugged by another company trading under the name BBC to the point where they're back in the black. Or BBC Studios could go and buy another thing. So they've got UK TV... And look at the rate, the listings on UK TV. Dave is famous for just being Top Gear repeats, right? Which were long since paid for years ago by your license fees. Full of adverts, sponsorships. They have Halford sponsorship on there, I think it is, don't they? It did last time I saw it anyway. How much are they making out of those shows that you paid for years ago with your license fees? Now they're buying Brickbox, which you can subscribe to all over the world, including the UK, to watch BBC shows paid for buy license fees but you pay a monthly subscription for that and this is fine is it we're all right with this no good okay launched by bbc studios and itv in 2017 british specialist streaming service britbox international delivers yeah, all right blah 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 the service now has over 3.75 million subscribers and has an enterprise value of around 500 million so the BBC, they want to keep the licence fee because they don't think going streaming will work for them or going commercial can work for them. But yet, the other part of the BBC, the commercial part of the BBC, is commercial with UK TV and subscription now with Britbox. So where is the argument for the licence fee? Where is it? Because the BBC want to show commercials, they want to go subscription, and yet they still want your 159 quid a year, soon to go up. I, 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 this, it astounds me that they're getting away with this. This is in the trade press. This isn't in like the proper papers where people are complaining about it. The TV licence fees all over the papers at the minute with stories and complaints about it. Yet something like this completely flies under the radar. This is a company trading under the BBC name, showing adverts, selling subscriptions and selling shows syndicated all around the world for a lot of profit. And yet the BBC is pleading poverty and want the licence fee to go up. ITV-owned Britbox UK is unaffected by the deal and will still feature BBC content as part of separate long-term agreements. Not for long, though. Uh, why would ITV have sold their share, their 50% share, of the international part of Britbox, but kept their 50% share of Britbox UK. How long do you think that will go on for? How long will it be before the BBC or BBC Studios acquires 100% of all of Britbox? Because this is how it worked with UK TV. They only owned a percentage of UK TV, and the other percentages were sold around all over the shop. And eventually, BBC went, ah, bollocks too, we'll have the lot. That's what's going to happen here. It's taking the piss. This is taking the piss. We want to sell adverts on our channels here. We want to sell subscriptions on our channel here. But we're skin. Please give us 159 quid a year. It's wrong, isn't it? Well, it's not worth me banging on anymore. I think I made my point. If you want to read this article in the trade press, I'll put a link to it in the description below. You can go and read it. It doesn't really say a lot more than what I've said, but there's more to it. You can read it if you want to read it. Let me know your thoughts on it as well while you're down there 
in the comments below because I think it's taking the piss. I made my point quite clear. Let me know how you feel about it. And as always, way down there, leaving your comment, hit all the buttons and everything as well. Because if you do that, hopefully I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.